welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny. Today I'm going to be making a delicious side dish with zucchini. A lot of you are pulling all the leftover zucchini out of your gardens and wondering what else you can do with zucchini. We're going to do a really delicious side dish with it today. And with that, I am going to be trying out my new cheese grater. I think you've seen me use a hand grater throughout the past few years on these videos. So, I'm super excited to test this one out. This one is from Guidel, just a rotary cheese grater. So we're going to give it a shot. The zucchini dish we're going to be making is a zucchini gratin. And we are going to be using some smoked gouda for this. So, pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, I have opened up the grater and looking at all the pieces. Handle, a base, here's a fine grate, fine grater, slicer, and here's another one. I just washed them up. I'm, I want to use this here. Okay, so it looks like that just goes in real easy. This slides in. It slides in this way. turn my oven on. All right, we shall see how good this works. Okay, I'm going to grate this whole thing up while I have this out. Boy, this thing um, runs really nice and smooth and it's, it's pretty fast. Like, I'm not even operating it and it looks smooth. Yeah. And the so nice, sturdy. Yeah. The nice thing is, too, I don't have to get out the big heavy food processor to grate cheese. Then when you're done, you just have to pull out the little, on the lever here, there's a little lock. Okay. And this has a little lock in the back as well. So here's the back lock to get this out. Here is the dial to lock it down to your counter which I want to say the suction is amazing on this thing. And then the cheese is grated perfectly. And it's a, this makes the perfect big shreds. I'm using this for a couple different recipes, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in a bag. that aside. Okay, I am using, I've got four zucchini here. We're going to get these prepped. My oven's ready. I've got my oven preheated to 350. Cut these in half the long way and then I'm just going to clean out the inside. But I'm going to reserve the skin. Because we're going to actually use those two. We're not wasting it. Hopefully you can see. Sometimes it's hard for me to see what you can see. Okay, 
Okay, after you get it cleaned out, I'm just going to set it aside over here on a pan. And I have a silk pad on there, but you can definitely use um, parchment paper. It's not really like removing seeds. These are small, so they don't, they're not seedy. Not real seedy, but... Okay. Done. I'm just going to move along, get the rest of these done, and then I will be back when we are ready for the next step. Okay, so I have them here. My oven's preheated. I am using some basil infused olive oil, but you can use any kind of olive oil that you like. I just want to put a little bit on each one of these. And then I am going to do both sides, cover both sides. Put the olive oil here. And then I'm going to salt these. I want to turn and salt the backs a little bit. and pepper. I'm going to put these in a 350 oven just like they are for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to pull them out and let them cool off a little bit. All right. I have one small onion. I'm actually going to bring it over here and chop it. I'm going to get my pan going. I'm chopping my onion small. You can also grate your onion. Grating your onion is a, will be even better for this dish. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter in here. I don't want to use olive oil because this is a croutan. So I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in. I'm going to cook these for just a few minutes and then I'm going to put in a couple of garlic cloves and then we're going to add the insides to the zucchini. In the meantime, I'm going to get chopping for the rest of the stuff I need for dinner. I just put in a little bit of salt. I'm going to put in a little bit of black pepper. and a couple of garlic cloves. Okay, those are starting to get all toasty. I'm gonna put in, oops, I'm gonna drain some of this water off. Go ahead and dump this in. Okay, gonna need more salt. And more pepper. At this point, whatever seasonings you like to use, go ahead and put them in. I know some people like to use the Tony's Cajun. Whatever you like. 
But I want to cook these until they start softening up a little bit. And I'm cooking dinner too, so obviously this is my side dish. So I'm going to continue on chopping up all my stuff. Okay, these are pretty dry. Just, and I'm going to turn this heat down. Okay, these are looking good. They're not too done. Set those aside for a sec. I'm going to turn this heat all the way off. I'm going to add a stitch of heavy cream to this. That's like two tablespoons. Also going to put in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And about a half a cup of cheese. And this is the smoked gouda. Now I just want to take a spoon and fill these shells. It's going to be hard. I'm out of counter room here. I'm going to taste my filling real quick. My onions got pretty caramelized, so it's a darker. That is delicious. Switching gears, I have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to add in a quarter cup of pinko breadcrumbs. And maybe a tablespoon of oil. I'm just using my basil one. When you do breadcrumbs, you need a fat in it so they get crispy. And there's bits of basil in my oil, so I'm going to top these, see if I can move you up and over there. I probably didn't even need this much, a couple tablespoons would have been fine. You are going to want to do bigger zucchini, I can tell you. These are tiny. Back in the oven at 350 till it's done. I want the top to crisp up, I want the cheese to melt throughout the inside of it, and I want the outside to be completely done. The zucchinis are done. The breadcrumbs are nice and toasty on top, and you can see the zucchini starting to be done around the sides. These are going to be so delicious. All right, Ryan's going to try the squash for you. He's going to be my taste tester. And this is zucchini gratin. Caramelized onion, smoked Buddha, a little Parmesan cheesy. in the top. Yeah. Heck yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, there you go. You heard it from the kid's mouth. It's good. <laughs> okay, grating my whole entire brick of cream cheese. And just keep, so I can keep it in the fridge and have it ready to go. Because I don't really like the pre-grated stuff. It's not really cheaper. It's the same price, but it tastes better. For sure. 
and this cheese grater is a really affordable price at $28.90 off Amazon. I will put it in my kitchen must-have links in the description box below for you if you are interested. So it's affordable and it works really well. I've seen thing, seen cheese graters like this that were expensive. So this works great, especially for the price. Okay, and it's all grated up. That took me a total of less than five minutes. And now I can just put it into a bag. Sorry, you probably had a weird angle. You can get pre-shredded stuff for the same price, but it doesn't melt as good. Okay, there is my entire block of cheese grated up within minutes. Remember, if you're interested, I will have I will have it listed in my kitchen, my Amazon kitchen must-haves. Okay, that's all there is to this cheesy, delicious side dish. You may have to make multiple for people. It's that good. Also, these you can make ahead and freeze. You gotta give these a try if you're still pulling zucchini out of your garden. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes, including this one. I will put the recipe link in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.